So a report comes out, it looks like the Oklahoma Sooners linebacker room has gotten a lot smaller as junior linebacker Shane Witter is out for the season because of left shoulder surgery. Let's talk about him as well as potential replacements. All that coming up in about 10 seconds. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Jay here with Unfair Sports, talking OU football, college football, and sports in general. Thank you all for tuning in. While you're here, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. That way you can catch all this content. We try to keep this bad boy going and uh, share because sharing is caring. And so in this video, we're going to talk about junior linebacker Shane Witter, who is out for the season for the Sooners and a couple of potential replacements for him. So let's dive right into this, shall we? So Shane's a junior. He's coming from North Carolina. Um, He's tried to play through a left shoulder injury the last couple of weeks, as reported by uh, Parker Thune over at 24-7 Sports, OU Insider, that it looks like he's going to have to have surgery on that shoulder, and now he's done for the year, which makes the linebacker room for the Sooners even thinner. As you all recall, we talked about it before the season started, TD Roof, uh, linebacker, senior linebacker that transferred in was lost for the season before the season actually started. And that left just Shane Witter as well as Deshaun White, David Uwigbu, uh, Danny Stutzman, and Jaron Kanick as the linebackers left in the room that's, that's actually playing on the roster. Um, Coach Brent Venables had mentioned about red shirting a couple of freshmen that was part of the 2022 class and Kobe McKenzie and Kip Lewis. And there's a chance that we may actually see them this coming weekend at the Red River shootout because we need some more bodies, which is unfortunate. Now, as far as our guy Witter goes, he, uh, six foot, 225, North Carolina native. He's in, he's appeared in four games, recorded eight tackles so far, mainly on special teams and in a reserve role, but he was a very key component of that special teams unit, um, as reported by Parker Thune. So because of this, the Sooners are going to have to take some additional measures. So we may see a lot more Canic playing in the field, as well as the potential red shirts of Kobe McKenzie and Kip Lewis not actually being put in there. So, I don't know. Uh, kind of sad that we're we're starting to see the injury bug hit us, but let's kind of talk about it. So the two players that could potentially play, Kobe McKenzie, you guys remember him. We talked about him in some earlier videos this year in the recruiting. He was a part of the 2022 class out of Lubbock, Texas. Um, a lot of people thought that he was going to end up at A and M, um, as well as I think Texas was actually trying to vie for him as well. But he ended up um, picking Oklahoma instead, and so. He did his visits in the year, picked Oklahoma, 6'2", 245. So he's a nice size, stocky linebacker slash edge. And it looks like he's probably one that's going to get a lot of playing time. On top of Kip Lewis, who was uh, another linebacker from the freshman class, 6'1", 196. Not sizey, but he's got the frame to be a pretty solid linebacker. So there's a good chance we'll see him uh, potentially as well. And he has really strong pass rushing efficiencies is what, you know, some of the recruits were saying about him or whatnot. So jump in the comments. Let me know what you think. You know, we're kind of starting to fall like flies, but hopefully uh, we uh, can recover and come back. But it looks like we will get some other players like R. Mason Thomas. It appears that he is going to actually go make the trip down to Texas. Same thing with Marcus Major. They should both play in this Red River game, which is a big deal in my personal opinion because we've dealt with a lot of uh, you know injuries and we need some more consistency. So with that, wanted to give you all this quick update as I was reading through a lot of the stuff. Wanted to wait and see uh, what inf- other information falls through, but it does look like uh, Shane is done for the year. And hopefully we will be able to play the other guys. We will start to see some of these freshmen get out there. I know a lot of you have been mentioning you want to see some of the younger guys on the defensive side, especially after kind of the snafu with the TCU game in Kansas State. We'll probably get a chance to see them and see if they can go ahead and step up. If they're ready, awesome. Hopefully those animal instincts kick in and they go out there and they just dominate on the football field. We'll see. With that, please drop a comment. Let me know what you think about seeing some of these freshmen play. Kobe McKenzie as well as Kip Lewis potentially jumping on the field, as well as, of course, more Canic, because I always want more Canic. Outside of that, hit the like and subscribe button, as well as share, because sharing is caring. We appreciate you pulling up to the show. We're almost at 2,400 subs. 
Super exciting. Want to get to 3,000, hopefully by the end of the month. We'll see what happens. But with that, we will chop it up with you all in a couple of days. Peace.